Yo, what's up everyone, in today's video I'll be showing you how you can get to Champion Division in just under 24 hours. I talked about the standing spot in my previous video, so if you haven't watched that video, then I got you in today's video. If you're someone who does not feel confident in fighting mid game, this standing spot will 9 out of 10 times get you the top placements in arena. I'll be posting more tips and tricks videos that will help you improve, so don't forget to smash the like button and subscribe to the notification on to get notified when I next upload. And also, follow my Twitter, which will be the first link down in the description below. If you want to support me, then make sure to use my support creator code, Help Electro, in the Fortnite item shop, and let's hit 500 supporters by the end of this week, and there will be a giveaway soon. Now, let's get into today's video. This POI is located on the bottom right side of the map, has a total of 9 chests, guaranteed scar, and 25 floor loot spawns. Now, when landing at this POI, you guys want to aim for the top of the weather station, but as you guys see here, I had a scuff drop, so I landed on a single chest. I got really good RNG, I got minis and an AR, and I know this guy can test me, so I pop my shield first. Now, I know there's one chest on the top of the station, so I quickly push the guy as he's around the stairs, and I just play range with him, and I win the fight, as I'm confident in winning this fight. On the top right, you guys will see all the chest spawns, so make sure to follow that route to get the most chests from this POI. As you guys know, in arena, chests aren't 100%, so make sure to check every possible chest spawn to come out with max shield and the best guns possible. When you finish looting the station, you guys will see an NPC outside. This NPC isn't an NPC that you can react with, you'll instantly shy you, so make sure to kill him first before he kills you. Now, this NPC drops a purple scar and it also respawns. So make sure to get a bounty from him, which will reveal nearby enemies and also a quest, which is destroy a nearby satellite dish. Now you want to head to the top of the station and destroy a satellite dish. This will give you 120 gold, which is very good just for destroying something. In arena, as you guys may know, you spawn with 50 gold, so you have a total of 170 gold. Now head over to the NPC and activate reveal future zones. This will reveal the next zone which is really good as you are the only player in the lobby which will know where the next zone is located and can easily get dead side. Finish doing your POI and make sure to get max melt from the station. Then head northwest towards the bridge and get a vehicle. In the vehicle head towards dead side and make sure if you find a faster vehicle get in it as you want to make it as soon as possible to avoid fights. If you're someone who's confident in fighting in early arena stages, then make sure to take the fights if you want to get the extra 20 points. But if not, rotate to that side fast. If your car starts running out of fuel, head over to the nearest gas station. I'll leave a link down in the description below to all the gas stations on the map, so make sure to memorize it or keep it open when rotating. Now when you fill up your vehicle, make sure to head to that side as soon as possible to avoid all mid-game fights so you don't die and get that easy top 25 placement. Once you arrive at your dead side location, make sure to find a building and replace it. This will leave you with extra mats to rotate into the next zone which is very good and you won't have to waste your mats and you'll come out with 555. Also, make sure you build a base at the top of the building to be aware of your nearby enemies. If you want to learn more spots just like the one in today's video, then click on the video which is on the screen and get the marina points. That's been it for today and I'll see you guys in the next